All right, welcome back. We are going to continue setting up our new Focus website, except this time we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to add a separate component to our site that is called a thesis box. Okay, and what a box is, it's, it's like a plugin, except it's completely integrated with your thesis and focus environment, uh, and it's easy for you to manage and to get the results that you want. So it's simpler than a plugin, sort of, and uh, like I said, totally integrated into this environment. So the first one we're gonna add is something called the Cleanup WordPress box, or Cleanup WP. And the reason we're gonna do this, let's take a look at that now. So here's uh, the front page of our website. We're gonna look at the source code very quickly to see what uh, the Cleanup WP box is gonna do for us. So here's the source code. And I want you to pay attention to two things here. So we're looking, this is the HTML head, okay? And there's some extra stuff WordPress adds in here because I'm logged in, but if we look at this, it's pretty big. Oh, it's still going. That's a, that's a pretty sizable document head. And if you if you do this and examine uh, the, head, the head section of various WordPress websites out in the wild, I mean, they're 10 miles long. It's just crap on crap on crap in these things. And the purpose of this video is to get rid of some of this crap. So the, the two things I really want you to notice here is this whole section is added for emoji support. Uh, you know, within, like, if you put emojis in your content or whatever, this ostensibly will allow them to display everywhere. But here's the thing. Emoji support has been a thing for many years now. Every device on the planet now supports them. There is no need for this code that gets spit out on every page of your website. It's 2.4 kilobytes of JavaScript and CSS that you simply do not need. So we're going to look at removing that. And then there's something else insidious. If we scroll down here, it's this right here, this block library CSS file. It's 33 kilobytes in size. And WordPress now loads this up on every page of your website uh, as part of uh, support for the Gutenberg editor. Now I have a separate video that I really encourage you to watch about what the Gutenberg editor is doing to your WordPress website and how it's destroying it, possibly setting up a situation that you'll have to confront in the future that is extremely gross. Uh, so please go watch that video, but the, the bottom line is I recommend you do not use the Gutenberg editor and therefore you do not need these block library CSS styles that are slowing down every page of your website. So these two items are the ones I really wanna look at removing and the cleanup WP box is going to help us do that. So we'll flip back over here to the admin. We're going to go to boxes and we'll go to manage boxes. And we have a cleanup WP box here. Let's delete this one. We'll go through the whole process. Okay, we killed that. And so we want to add the cleanup WP box to our environment. But the first thing we got to do is get it. So I'm going to flip over to my DIY themes account page. And you can scroll down to the my boxes section. And you'll notice the cleanup WP box is a free box that you get uh, when you when you get a purchase a focus license. And so I'm just going to download that. There it is. Now I'm going to go back over here to my WordPress admin. I'm going to click upload a new box. I'm going to choose the file, downloads, cleanup WP, open. We're going to add the box. There it is. We can kill this this dialog pop up. I'm going to select it. You know, the checkbox is out to the side, and then we're going to save the boxes. This will activate the box. All this does is say, hey, activate this thing when you hit save. So now it's activated. It gets put in alphabetical order. And we're going to click on the settings button here. And these are the default settings for the cleanup WP box. Emoji support is not enabled by default, but the block library CSS is. And like I said, we want to deselect that because we will not be using the Gutenberg editor. We're going to leave these bottom two uh, selected because they don't really have a performance impact and they uh, allow some plugins or certain website functionality to uh, do some more enhanced stuff. We'll leave those alone. We're going to save it. And now we're going to hold shift and click re refresh to view the HTML source. And we can see that the emoji script is gone and also the... Uh, the CSS file for the, the WordPress block library, the Gutenberg editor, all that stuff is, is not there either. And so now we are running already, we are running a more efficient website and our pages are going to be a little bit faster. Okay. 
Uh, so that is what the cleanup WP box is going to do for you. You definitely want to install this uh, as you know as we're going through the site setup process. This is one of the things that you're going to want to do on every Focus website that you uh, have. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.